Capricorn. What's going on, baby? It is Scorpion Red Tevo. I am back at it again. One time for the one time. Yes, indeed. To let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of July 2019. Shout out to each and every one of you that clicked this video. Thank you so much for all the love, likes, and the support. Thank you to everyone who has shared this video. Want to give an announcement to some new decks that just arrived again. I don't know. Again, why did I start another damn video out without having my decks out? Come on now. Come on, Reds. Listen, so we got some new arrivals, okay? Today we're going to be using the Under the Rose of the Norman deck. Y'all already seen the gangsta ass Alice of Wonderland, um, <coughs> Alice of Wonderland playing card decks. Y'all already seen this in the collective. We have the hip hop. East versus West playing card decks. We're not going to be using this one today, though. We have the Music Genius playing cards deck. Y'all probably seen that. I've used that in other videos, I believe. But we will be using today the Oracle of Visions deck. So shout out to everyone who has been supporting the page. Um, have it be the Amazon wish list. The majority came through Amazon wish list. So thank you guys so much. And if you do send, um. If you do send support through Amazon Wishlist, make sure that you leave a note so I can know who's sending it. Because um, a few of you guys sent some and it didn't say who it was coming from. So make sure that you let me know who you are so I can shout you out and send some love to you guys. Thank you so much. Um, if anyone wants to book a personal private reading with Scorpion Red Tarot, you can do so by clicking the About tab. What you need to do is book and then link up with me. How you book with me, if you, you click that link that says Scorpion Red Tarot as Simply Book Me. Again, it says Scorpion Red Tarot as Simply Book Me, okay? Once you select your reading that you want, you link up with me. You can link up with me either on Instagram or Google Hangouts. Um, my Instagram link is right under the booking link. So go ahead and click that. Send me a private message and just say, hey, Rez, this is so-and-so. Book with you on this and that a date and we'll link up there for their video chat if you don't have instagram you can use my email which is also in the about tab which is scorpionbreads at gmail.com you can use that on google hangouts and send me a message there we can connect there if you want a recap of the video if you want me to record your video session or if you do not want to get on camera for a video chat if you would prefer to just Send me your question pertaining to the order, um, the uh, the reading that you purchase. You can purchase uh, the add-on, which is called the video cap, video recap slash direct upload. So if you do not want to get on camera, only thing you need to do is send me your question. Make sure that you only send me the question. Don't tell me the information surrounding why you're asking the question pertaining to that reading that you purchased. Within 24 to 48 hours, I'm going to record and I'm going to upload it to YouTube. And I'll send you a private link back on either Instagram or Google Hangouts, whichever platform that we're communicated with. Same thing for the video recap. After we finish doing our um, reading, I'm going to uh, upload the recording to YouTube and I'll send you a private link and you can go back and watch the recording um, of the video session anytime that you want so there you go and if any one of these videos resonate if you want to send love and support if you want to send a dollar two or three through PayPal just to say thanks you know the videos resonate or whatever a lot of times you guys send me a message so whichever way that you send support make sure that you guys send a message so I can know who you are so I can shout you guys out on the next videos okay so again thank you guys so much and let's get into the readings for my Capricorns let's see what's going on caps because y'all already know we on our way up around this bitch okay Father God, thank you so much for the enlightenment. Thank you so much. We feel gracious. We feel proud. We feel happy. We feel blessed, Father God. We feel light as feathers on our feet. We're just moving around, making movements, making big moves, making changes in our life, Father God. Thank you so much for uplifting us in this state of power where we're able to just, you know, like, take our power back and, you know, do things just efficiently and effectively just to make ourselves look and feel good. You know, it's about us making a change because it makes us feel good you know what i'm saying we're not doing it for nobody else we're doing it because we want to father god thank you so much for just uplifting us father please give us guidance for my capricorns for july thank you again for all of the blessings and the messages in the past present and future please give us guidance for my caps thank you again let's get this started Right now, 
Me guidance for my Capricorns. Me daily guidance for July 2019 for my caps. Right, I hear that. I keep it juicy, juicy in the back. If you can see it from the front, wait till you see it from the back. Okay, caps. Okay, my caps are here. Thick with it this summer. Ooh. Did anything flip out? No. <clears throat> like it thicky, like a fat. Yeah. That's a lot. That's a lot. Okay. I'm just gonna do it. So what we got here? We got be honest with yourself. <clears throat> Enjoy. We're not doing no reversal. Time to go. And listen. So be honest with yourself. Bring the joy back into your life, Capricorns. It's time to go. It is time for someone, something to go. And shh. Just listen. Don't talk. Just listen. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Hey. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> nah, but for real. Let's 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 break it on down. Let's break it on down. Be honest with yourself. It says, look into your heart, and you will know the truth of the situation. It is safe to admit the truth to yourself, for we will support you and guide you through any necessary changes. Lean upon us for courage and the strength to take good care of yourself. Focus upon only your true desires, and they will come to you upon angels' wings. Be honest with yourself about the situation that you're going through and you're facing. Focus on the joy and the harmony that you want to enter back into your life. It says joy is the highest energy at all. It is the magical sense that everything is possible. Joy brings from appreciating gifts. Oh, Jesus, Lord, here I go. I can't read. Okay, let me start it over. Let's start off. Joy is the highest energy of all. It's the magical sense that everything is possible. Joy springs forms of appreciating gifts within each moment. Joy allows you to attract and create your present and future moments at all of their highest possible levels and i still feel like my ass can't read but whatever i feel like y'all get the gist okay when you put joy into your life it bring joy back into your life whatever 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 okay anyway <laughs> time to go the sun has set and rises each day and it's the true and the same with the adventures that are in your life see the beauty within each sunset and sunrise in your life and know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow endings are merely the start of new beginnings and we are with you through each phase and cycle it's time for something to go it's time for you to be honest about yourself are you experiencing the joy and the freedom and the clarity Hmm. Yeah, I think I made it is in the back. Listen, quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desires manifestation. A quiet mind and body hears this quickly and clearer. This is our request for you to listen. Hmm. I feel like you guys are making too much rah-rah. I feel like you guys are, are talking too much. Y'all making... I feel like it's more about action. And it's more about you just quieting yourself. Trying to like find some type of peace and joy. Regardless of what's going on right now. Tune that shit out and tune into whatever brings you peace, joy, and harmony right now. And just quiet your soul. So that you can find some type of peace. And once you kind of come down from the euphoria of the peace and the joy, you can actually, you know, like, that's just like, 
Like, say you're having a bad day, right? You're having a horrible, horrible, horrible day. And you just like, man, fuck this shit. I'm not about to sit here and, and continue to have a horrible day. I'm going to do my do something to make me feel good, something to bring joy into my life. You know what I'm saying? For me, back in the day, my peace and my joy used to be reading. I used to love reading novels. I don't know if y'all remember back in the day when everybody used to order books from Black Expression. That was my shit. You understand what I'm saying? So I would just go get lost in the book and I would just like tune everything and everyone out. And I just found joy in reading. You know what I'm saying? So and it's like after I kind of like unplugged from that world of that book, you know what I'm saying? Like I kind of was able to think a little bit better because I wasn't. I was doing something that just kind of gave me peace and kind of just gave me joy a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And then when it came time to me having to make decisions of what I needed to do, I was able to kind of like think a little bit more clear and make better decisions because I was just doing something that made me happy. Something that brought me, brought me joy instead of focusing on bullshit. We have the High Priestess in reverse, Lord. The Four of Wands. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. Lord Jesus. I got a bad girl that like bad boys, it looks like. Mm, mm, mm. Let me get a... Mm, mm, mm. Mm -mm -mm. Like a bad girl, like bad boys here with this high priestess in reverse, honey. Mm -hmm. What secret you hiding, honey? What secret you hiding? You married and you in a commitment and a commitment right here. You got the Ten of Pentacles right here. What's going on? What's going on here? We got the Prince of Swords, the Death card. The Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. I get you. I get you. I get you. Hmm. I get you. Look like you tired of them bad boys. Look like you tired of that shit, honey. You tired of that shit. You going, you, you listen, you thinking about the money. You think about the money, honey. You said, mm-mm. I ain't got y'all to do the not today. High Priestess in reverse. Okay? This High Priestess in reverse, right now, I feel like you feeling like your intuition is kind of failing you a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you feel... I feel like in a situation with this Prince of Swords right here, I feel like you were dating someone that was a little bit younger than you. A little bit younger than you and I feel like you necessarily didn't research to kind of see what type of atmosphere what type of individuals you were getting yourself mixed up with um the Prince of Swords is someone that they think that they're right all the time they could be a little bit arrogant they could be a little bit boastful because they are too young to like they're reckless with their mouth you understand what i'm saying like they don't give a fuck about what you think what you say they want what they want if you're not gonna give it to them they're gonna take it they're gonna research they're gonna find a way to ever make you give it to them by their wordplay and their mind manipulation or they'll just straight out rob you for it like they'll take it like you know what i'm saying like this person is like danger 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 like a ticking time bomb right here you know what i'm saying but i really do feel like this high priestess this high priestess and i and 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 don't get her fucked up i just feel like right now i feel like she got hypnotized by the thrill of this situation by the risk by the y'all know how y'all capricorns are Y'all know how y'all are now. Y'all know how y'all are. But you coming back into your element right here with this Queen of Pentacles here. Y'all like, uh-uh. Now, uh-uh now. Uh-uh. Because I feel like this one right here had... This one right here is 
on the outside of this marriage and this commitment that's right here, this Ten of Pentacles. Right next to him was this death card. I feel like some of you guys have to be honest with yourself here. You find joy in playing with the big boys. Like you like, it's like y'all like bad boys. It's cool. It's cool. Y'all just like playing with danger a little bit. Y'all like playing with danger a little bit. But it's like you need to stop. Like you need to stop. Like you need to stop finding joy and pleasure in that. It's time for this one to go. It's time for this shit with this one to end. Anytime I see his little badass pop up, I'll be like, mm-mm. Somebody like playing with danger. Rough sex. <laughs> it's like rough sex. Like, it's like this is the type of relationship where y'all cause arguments with each other just to have like makeup sex or something like that. Like, y'all just crazy. Like, crazy crazy like you gotta be honest with yourself for some reason like you're attracted and you like shit like that and i feel like for some reason in your brain you just can't figure out like why am i turned on by these little young bad boys like this because this is someone that's younger than you this is someone that's younger than you and he's good looking he has dark hair i feel like he has like his eyes or something about his eyes he got dark hair and something about his eyes. He has pretty eyes or he has like dark hypnotizing eyes or something like he could stare into your soul or something like that. It's just something about the way that he just uh, give you a look at it just to uh, make you melt or something like that. But anyway, I definitely feel that some of you guys are already married and committed and I feel like this person was on the side here. I feel like this one was on the side here. You guys were already happily married and happily committed. And, you know, y'all had the Ten of Pentacles at home. But y'all had this one on the side here. And this needs to end. And I feel like this is a secret that you were holding that is eventually going to come out. And you need to be honest with yourself because this is right outside of this home. This is right outside of this marriage. And this one is reckless. This one is danger. This one will put your commitment in danger. And I think that you know that either by your behavior being reckless or this one's behavior being reckless. Because this one, this also represents like the, the stalker card. Even though it's not in the reverse, it's still a card of investigation. And this is right outside of your home. You understand what I'm saying? And I feel like you need to end this. This Queen of Pentacles right here. You guys are... I'm seeing DNA. I'm seeing this DNA. I think you guys are like wanting another child or something like that. I feel like some of you guys have been talking about like another baby or something. You guys are just thinking about ways to make your house grow right now. Because I feel like you guys have a good home environment. But you guys are playing with danger and you know you need to stop it. And you're just trying to figure out, well, what was it that I was lacking that made me want to go out here even looking for that or even being entertained by this? Like, whatever it is that you're missing, you need to find out what it is. And that's also what I feel like that Prince of Swords represents. Like I said, it represents intellect research investigation you know what i'm saying high education you need to educate yourself and figure out what it was about your home environment that wasn't enough that had you like a ticking time bomb where you were ready to explode and do something reckless that could have caused the complete destruction and ending because you know tens represent endings as well and this is a firm foundation this is a happy home you need to figure out whatever that ingredient is that this person had. And you need to figure out how to put it into your home environment and plant that seed and make it grow. I mean, you are the queen of Pentacles, Capricorn. You know what I'm saying? That's what you do. You make money. You make shit go. You make, make, you make wise investments. You know what I'm saying? 
You make wise investments. You said, I'm not going to let this shit drive me crazy and keep me in no goddamn prison for the rest of my life. Having this motherfucker lurking right outside my home about to cause no damn. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Because I have dreams. I have aspirations. Like, I know it's time for this shit to. I, yeah, Cause I feel like it's somebody, and I really do feel like it's a woman. It's like it's a woman. Capricorn was holding a lot of secrets right there. And I'm here infertile, like. Mmm. I'm also feeling like this woman felt like she wasn't able to have children in this marriage here. And, sorry. That this woman wasn't able to have children here. This woman thought that she was not able, she thought that she was infertile, like she was not able to have children in this marriage. And either the man that she was with didn't want to have children, didn't want to have any more children, or they've just been trying, 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 and couldn't have any more children, and then you got probably bored with this commitment, then this one came along, right outside the home. Something happened where you knew it needed to end, because it possibly could have been a sprout. Do you see what I'm saying? It could have possibly been an unexpected birth, an unexpected pregnancy. That might have been a secret that you guys were holding that's going to come out. Or maybe that's something. Because I, I, I'm, I'm getting that. I'm getting that. And in this world card in the reverse, you had to... Release your, you have to end that situation and you have to release yourself from being burdened and tied down because it was not going to allow the growth, it wasn't going to allow you to move forward. And if you're still dealing with this person, you might want to stop dealing with this person because you might end up pregnant. Like, I'm really getting that. Like, I'm sorry. Like, and that shit is right outside the door of your marriage. And right in the center, right here, is the death card ending transformation like there's going to be a big transformation here and as you can see this woman is growing something she's growing something she's growing something whatever she's growing it was a mental burden on her and she wants out of it because it was stagnating the growth let, let me move forward because I because I, I need I need more to make this make sense for me. Be honest with yourself. It's time for something to go. You gotta listen. The death card is right in the middle. Y'all could have been dealing with a Scorpio. Y'all could have been dealing with a Scorpio. And with the air signs with us on um, Gemini Libra. Furries. Mm, mm, mm. All I'm seeing is a whole bunch of swords and pinnacles. Mm. Use your time well. Make every moment count. Yeah, it's something about timing. Yeah. You got to make wise decisions. Because like I said, something is about to be exposed here with this high priestess in reverse. Something is about to be exposed. And I don't feel like you have a lot of time. So I really do feel like you need to make wise decisions. Some type of secret that had been withheld will be released and will be exposed. You need to be honest with yourself. And I feel like you kind of need to jump in front of this situation. Make every moment count. Let's see what this is from the book. It says, Someone could be wasting your time by asking questions they have no intent in answering. People not listening or repeatedly asking for assistance, but not heeding the advice. Someone wishes to take up a great deal of your time in order to feel more important, listened to, and cared about. Set your boundaries. It says someone's wasting your damn time, honey. 
Mm. Let's see what's going on. I don't like the look of that cat. I feel like who I the eight of cups. I don't like the look of that cat. I really don't. And I really do feel like whoever this is, like if it's a woman, whoever this woman is in this scenario, she has red hair. And she always wear her nails like a, a shade of pink. Like her toenails is like light pink or something. And, and, and like having a lot of plants in her house or some shit like that. I'm seeing like a lot of plants. Like a lot of plants. Indoor plants. The Ace of Wands in reverse. The Lovers. Mm -hmm. Give me guidance for my Capricorns please. Is that it? Jill. It's someone that just got out of jail. Y'all messing with someone that just got out of jail. They were doing time. Yeah, like, tcha! you guys are in a commitment. But you guys might slip up and get pregnant by someone who just got out of jail that's just wasting your time. That's just wasting your time. And you need to stop fucking with this person because they're reckless. And then they're going, they're going, they're going to end up going back to jail any fucking way. They will end up going back to jail. So it's like you're risking something with someone where only thing they want to do is fuck. And they not really trying to start nothing serious or be serious with you at all. So it's just like this person is just coming around for sex. Like that's the only thing that they want. You know what I'm saying? The lovers. There's definitely three people involved in this situation here. There's a third party situation most definitely. But on this one, it depicts two women. Looks like a man caught between two women. It appears two women too. A man caught between two women. A high priestess and the queen of pentacles. So it could be very much so. This young air sign. Caught in between a Capricorn and a High Priestess. I forget what sign the High Priestess is supposed to be. The Pentacles. Someone's going to be shut out. Someone's going to be left out in the cold. But then just like I'm saying, I feel like this person's going to end up going back to jail anyway. I want some more information. Clarify this Ace of Wands. Mm -mm. Clarify this Ace of Wands, the Lovers, and the Five of Pentacles. I feel like you you definitely... You being reckless and you wasting your time on someone that is on spare time. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like this person just got out of jail. They young. They reckless. This person is too... This person, I feel like, I, I don't know, I heard someone's too eager. Like, someone is too eager for something. And this person is, like, right outside your house for some reason. If you're not married and you're not committed, which I definitely do feel like y'all are married or committed. For whatever reason, I feel like this person is, like, lurking right outside your house. And that might be why y'all, like, this person might end up, like, having to 
go back to jail because they end up for stalking, like possibly, like I. Cause I'm sorry, like I'm getting so much right now. I'm getting so much right now. Like this is someone that it was just sex anyway. But you see how this person is like sending someone off to jail. You understand what I'm saying? And that's why I'm saying to use your time wisely. This person is right outside your fucking house. And you need to end this shit. It's either this motherfucker was trying to get you pregnant to cause drama. Or this person was trying to cause you drama just period. And you're trying to grow in a different direction and you're tired of this headache. And this person is stagnating your growth right now. You should you should have <laughs> you should have used your time more wisely. And I feel like this person is gonna get locked up for stalking. Clarify this for me so I can make sure I'm not tripping because I know we got other <laughs> spreads to go. But I'm just sorry. Like this is just like what? Beach what? Clarify ooh, ooh, like that. The tower in reverse. And the Knight of Swords, yeah, shit's going to end up, it's like, okay, yeah, you're going to have to go, like, number one, this, 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 this one right here, he's immature, he's young, and he's reckless, and I told you, this person is right outside your home, your nice ass house, this person is right outside your nice ass house, and your commitment with someone else, honey, this motherfucker is about to Go insane in the membrane, honey. In fucking insane in the membrane. I just heard that's supposed to be my baby or something. I don't know if you're pregnant and this person thinks that it's his baby and it's not. And it's your husband's. And like, I don't. Girl. Girl, girl, only thing I know is that you with this death card in the middle, you had to be honest with yourself because you needed the joy to come back into your life because I felt like this situation is a whole bunch of drama. It's time for this person to go and the spirit is saying be quiet, just listen. This situation was just sex. It wasn't nothing that was going to be long standing or that was going to be anything serious. Anyway, you sent this person off because y'all were just lovers. And once you blocked this person off, this motherfucker went crazy. And shit about to pop off. Listen, look, look. Shit about to explode with this tower card. But the whole thing is, is that you can see this coming and you're trying to avoid a disaster. You're trying to avoid this disaster because this motherfucker keep coming at you all hard. Like, this person just been coming at you, coming at you real aggressively, wanting answers and wanting to know what you about to do. What you about to do? Because this motherfucker right outside. Girl. Mm-mm. Girl. Get your guidance. Clarify this for me, spirit. Come on, Alice. Let me know what shit about to go down. Because I'm trying to tell you, like, you need to avoid this. Because this person is going to come with. I just heard guns blazing. Like, this motherfucker crazy. Like, this motherfucker just got out of jail. Especially if it's someone who just got out of jail, Jesus. Lord, help me, Father. Come on. I need some coffee for this one. Lord, I need. Lord, I need. Lord, I need. Hold on. Mm-mm. Well, y'all let me know down in the comments what's going on, y'all. Am I tripping? Am I tripping? Is y'all fucking with somebody who just got out of jail, Jesus? Is y'all messing with someone who just got out of jail, but he going right back in into jail? Because y'all going to call him, like, um, authorities... Um, can you come pick up Antoine? Because he's right outside my house again. And he keep calling me, asking me dumbass questions. He keep calling me, threatening me and shit like that. Talking about he going to come pull up. Father, call, um, uh, I'm calling on Jesus and I'm calling on author for authorities. Can you come and get this motherfucker crazy bitch from outside my house? Okay, this motherfucker throwing rocks. This bitch motherfucker yelling my name and shit all that. Tawanda! Tawanda! No! 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 My whole block about to know my whole fucking name. Um, come get him. 
please come get him. Look, this one, nothing but sex. It wasn't nothing but sex. I, listen, this motherfucker just got out of jail. I don't know why I ain't see that little devious look in his eyes. I don't know. I just wanted me some fresh. I don't know. I heard that when niggas get out of jail, they be, you know, listen, they beat it up. You know what I'm saying? I just was thinking about that. I was thinking in my lower vibe, okay? I was not using my time appropriately here. I just want this to end, okay? This motherfucker is crazy. He ain't outside my eyes. And nigga outside my house breaking my windows and shit. Come on for my husband get home. Come on over here. Look, I'm trying to hide this motherfucker secret and shit. This motherfucker, this nigga, get, my husband about to come. My husband come home at six. Get this nigga from out my house. Get this motherfucker from in front of my house, okay? Lord Jesus. Ooh, honey. Ooh. This motherfucker outside y'all house like, bitch, I don't give a fuck if the police come. I don't give a fuck if the police come. I don't give a fuck if your husband come, bitch. You gonna open up this door. You gonna open up this door and let me know what the fuck is up. You like, um, authority. Authority. <laughs> authority. Someone come take him away, please. This motherfucker is crazy. I am a married woman, okay? Authority, take him away, please. Thank you, please, and thank you. Take care now. Bye-bye then. <laughs> you was like, uh uh. No, no, no. No, no, no. Mm -mm. He outside again. He outside. Uh uh. I told y'all he crazy. Uh uh. What I need to do to get this restricted? Listen, y'all going down downtown. Y'all sneaking down there so your husband don't find you. Okay, listen. So your husband, this king of hearts, don't find you. Because he don't know none of this shit that you got going on. He don't know about none of this shit. What is he saying? Consider, my dear. She's only a child. Listen, okay? He the one with the good heart. He is very loving, all right? He is very loving, all right? But you should have considered, my dear, that one was only a child, okay? What is this? The five of clubs. It says, something comes at me like a jack-in-the-box. Up it goes like a skyrocket. This motherfucker just be popping up on you. Listen, all, all around your home residency, okay? The number five represents changes. It represents challenges, okay? It represents travel, being quick-witted, and freedom, okay? So if you got someone come popping up around your house, okay? Because you don't gave him that good unicorn pom pom. You don't gave him the good pom pom, honey. You don't gave him something good. You don't gave him something he can feel. And it was real. It was all too real for him. Okay? I feel like there's going to be some changes around your house. Okay? It's going to be some changes around the structure and the dynamic. The way things are going to be working around your home environment. Okay? Miss Queen of goddamn clubs. Okay? You said, listen. Curtsy. While you're thinking what you say, it saves time. See, listen. You should have thought while you was acting. You should listen. Think while you moving. You understand what I'm saying? Listen. Think while you moving. You about to think while you moving. Do you understand what I'm saying? I feel like some of you bitches about, if y'all are single, y'all about to be moving. Y'all about to be moving. Okay? Some of y'all about to be moving. Y'all about to get a restraining order. And by the time this motherfucker get out of jail, you're going to be the fuck on somewhere else. If y'all are single. If y'all are single. All right. The queen of clubs is someone also that is very, uh, she's a social person. She's a go-getter. Like she's known in the community. She is like a reporter or, you know what I'm saying? Like she's like the neighborhood it girl. Do you understand what I'm saying? She's the neighborhood it girl. And there you go, the king of spades. What does this say? They go to two kings. If you do such a thing again, I'll have you buttered. Ooh. Then the ace of diamonds. I am not a visitor and I'm not a servant. Mm. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. I 
definitely see that some of you guys call the authority on someone. Because this is, I do see that this is, like, I take this king of spades. This king of spades is, like, a judge or an authority or something like this. This is, like, a court order. And they're basically telling them, like, if you do such a thing again, I'll have you buttered. Do you understand what I'm saying? I will have you greased up. I will, I will grease you up. I will have you buttered. Okay? I will have you greased up. And this is the queen. It's like, it's like a queen is telling you curtsy while you're thinking what you say. It saves you time. This is someone like this might be someone else from like the judge system as well. Like letting you know, like use your time wisely. If this man just got out of jail, why are you playing with fire? You know what I'm saying? You need to think while you before you make decisions and while you're making the moves that you decided to make you understand what i'm saying i feel like this is the judge this is the court of law being a judge like both of these are the judge like in your you're getting the advice from on, on a female side and then you're having an authority dealing with this person popping up on you Wow. And Ace of Diamonds. Says I'm not a visitor and I'm not a servant. This right here is basically like it could be very much so like you guys changing jobs, you guys changing residences. I mean that's not residences though, but like this is just changing opportunities for you in regards to just like your assets. I mean, no, this does this can be your assets. This can be your assets. This can be you being granted an order. This is you being granted an order. This is like written communication. Like this is you being granted this restraining order. Mm. Let me grab this phone out here, honey. Did I show you all these cards? Okay. Because you basically like, look, I need to be able to go and come from my house as I please. I don't want to be worrying about this strange motherfucker outside my house acting like no motherfucker cuckoo bird, okay? I do not want to worry about that. Please and thank you. I appreciate y'all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The King of Hearts, y'all already know who the King of Hearts is. Like, the King of Hearts is a good guy. He's a good guy. And like he said, consider, my dear, she's only a child. You know? He's saying it to her. The uh like the the strict female judge and she like all right well next time bitch think think while you're curtsying and then you know you know bitch think bitch think you know <laughs> clubs five of clubs like I said I, I represents changes in your home environment big time baby it's a card of action and change change in a work situation change in social standings. Symbolizing the five fingers of the hand can represent working with one's hand or making something. It can also denote exercise, physical labor, providing extra effort needed to get the job done, action, physical activity, the need for physical exercise, competition, a sporting event, a job, an interview, good luck. Like I said, this is an interview. To me, I feel like I said, I feel like this is you guys being interviewed and you like telling the people like, listen, someone is saying to the judge, like, consider that she's just a child, that she's young or she's not. You know what I'm saying? She, you know, she had lack of intuition with that high priestess in reverse. And you're like, yeah, this motherfucker just keep popping up out of nowhere and all of this stuff like that all around my house. Because clubs represent the home. Do you understand? It represent the home. Okay? The queen of clubs. Like I said, that that's... Queen of clubs. Queen of clubs. Queen of clubs. Queen of Clubs, a businesswoman, a female co-worker, a good advisor, a trusted female friend, or social butterfly. She's an active, industrious, reliable woman, is well-liked, has a great business sense. She can represent a socially active woman who enjoys clubs, societies, and other social functions. She runs her home efficiently, and she likes to keep busy. She's a hard worker, and she prefers uh, active 
and she prefers to be an active participant in life. So like I said, this is like a judge. This is like an advisor. This is like a court advisor. This is something like that to me. All right. The king of spades. I know that's a, that's a judge. I told you. The king of spades. A man of authority, ambition, power, a divorced or widowed an older man, a leader, a lawyer, a judge, a police officer, a health specialist, a man of foreign country. He can be arrogant, opportunistic, opportunistic, deceptive, cold, calculating, shrewd, possessive, emotionally controlled, detached, a rival in business or in love. I told you this is the judge. And he told this person, like, if you come back around her again, if you do such a thing, I'll have you buttered. And this ace of diamonds, I believe that represents like documents or something like that. I feel like this is the court order being, because you just like, I, what, what you say? I am not a visitor and I'm not a servant. Like I, I live here. Like I'm not going to be going through the shit where I live. Written news, a letter, a message, invitation, important document. I told you a new beginning, a fresh start, a new phase of life, something brand new, a ring, engagement, life force, fire. I told y'all. I told y'all, y'all gonna end up calling the authorities on whoever this person is. Like, either this person is this someone that you just had an affair with that ended up turning into a stalker, or tch, listen, this is your happy home where you got all your assets and your resources and shit like that, and this motherfucker's right outside your house, and you just like your intuition was fucked up. You should have, uh uh, you should, mm mm, bitch, mm mm. Y'all fuck with an old psycho. Lord Jesus. Y'all give me guidance for my Capricorns and love. It's time for this motherfucker to go so you can get your joy back. I feel like y'all been having someone stop with y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Give me guidance. Lord, I love my caps. Lord, I, I said y'all was going up, but I didn't think y'all was going up like that. Lord, y'all got motherfucker stalking y'all now. Shit. What's this? Ooh. All these different faces. This person could have like multiple. Did like this person could be bipolar <laughs> that you was fucking with. But aside from that, let's get let's let's get off of that. Let's get off of that. Okay. What I'm getting here, Capricorn, in regards to your love situation, I think what it's saying is. I want you to think back to all of the different people that you've been with in your past life. And if you could look at each one of their faces. Like, I don't know if you got like a little box into your bed or whatever. Or you got pictures and shit, all your old relationships. I want you to go back and look at those pictures. And just, I just heard study their faces. But just. Everything that you knew, that you know now, looking at those pictures, if you would have, just looking at them then, do you, could you see what became of them or what become of the situation just by looking at them? You know what I'm saying? And I say that because a lot of, a lot of the reason why I'm saying this is because some of these people... Just by looking at them, you could tell that they were bad news. Do you understand what I'm saying? You could you could look at this person and tell that they were bad news. So I'm being guided to tell you guys to go back and look at the faces in the places that you've been before. Because it'll tell you a story. It is, it'll literally tell you a story about who you are and where you're at right now in your life and what you're attracted to. It's like a motion picture. And if you want forward motion in your life, look back at all of those faces and all of those places and go back and rewind the story and watch it from the beginning to where it currently ends right now. And I want you to think about what you want your future to look like. 
that's it. That's what I got from that. That's it. Each one of those faces tells a different story about who you were at that time in your life. And I just want, after you finish looking back at all those places and those spaces, I want you to look at your self in the mirror. And I want you to look and tell me what you see. And that'll tell you where your love life is headed. Give me guidance for Capricorn and love. Clarify this picture here. Mature man. Change. You need a mature man in your life. Do away with all of this. You know. Gift. I feel like you just. Like you need to reward yourself. With a mature person. Like. It's time to grow up. You know what I'm saying? I really do feel like it's time to grow up. And look at the story. Toil and labor. Bad health. Okay, so it's... This is the thing. You are what you eat, baby. You feel what I'm saying? You are what you eat. I know chocolate look good, but I'm mature enough to know I can't eat chocolate every day. You know what I'm saying? Even if someone do come and give me a gift of chocolate every damn day. I know if I eat chocolate every day, I'm going to live a stressful, fucked up life full of diabetes but uh, and a whole bunch of bad health <laughs> ailments. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? You can't. You got to be mature enough to know that everything that is presented to you that looks good to you ain't necessarily you know what I'm saying maybe you need to change your taste maybe you need to change your taste baby that's why I'm trying to tell you to go back and look at all of the faces and the places of where you've been before and what does that story tell you what does that story tell you find someone mature and be a mature man if you're a Capricorn man be mature and be a gift to the world Gift yourself. Give yourself better things, a better life. Otherwise, if you don't change, you're going to continue down the same path. Telling the same story over and over, over, over and over again. Different faces, same scenario. Just get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. Did you progress or did things get worse? Do you understand what I'm saying? I would be a gift to yourself. I would be a gift to yourself. Be mature and be a gift to yourself. Or end up stressing and bring bad health. It's up to you. It's up to you, baby. It's up to you. They say an apple a day keep the doctor away. You know? You are what you eat. So, guidance, clarify this love for my cat, oh. the cross, the dog, There's, um, in regards to love, there's, like, we just crossed this dog and the gentleman here. And I'm hearing triggered in the background. I feel like you guys are going through a lot of hurt, uh, hurt, a lot of worries and a lot of darkness and a lot of regret and stuff like that. You guys are just, like, carrying a it's like a heavy cross to bear. You guys stressing, you guys worry a lot about this dog, about this, 
gentleman here that you guys look at as a dog because you're worrying about if your this companion of yours is if they're loyal to you, if they're committed, if they're faithful. You understand? Hmm. Hmm. Let me see. Let me guide us some love. What does it say? Sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. And then it says. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also destroy your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. So, in love, this is what I'm getting. Okay? Ooh! And then this was right there on the top. Power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. Don't be wrapped up in a sacred union with a snake. Okay? So listen, you guys, this is what I'm getting in love here. Some of you guys up here, like I said, y'all already are in a commitment. Y'all are in a loving and a happy commitment and y'all were cheating. And this is when cheating goes wrong. And you need to be honest and you need to get a hold of that shit and, and figure out how to use better of your time. Okay? And for other of you guys, I feel like if you're not in a commitment, I just feel like you guys are... You guys are constantly making the same mistakes. And I feel like you really need to honor and treasure your relationships because they're truly sacred. And I feel like you guys need to date people that honor you like you honor them. And like it says, emotions are natural and a necessity. Are, nah, emotions are a natural and a necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. I feel like you guys... It's something that you guys need to look at yourself and it's you gotta look at your self-reflection. It's something deep inside that you guys need to look at. That's why I said go back and look at your own motion picture. Go and be triggered and go and look at all of these faces and all of these places that you've been before. Start from down here, from her, and work your way on up and think about how you met them. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Then go to the next. And see if you progressed or if things got worse over the years. And then, like I said after that, then look at yourself in the mirror. And see, are you constantly wrapping yourself up with stakes? You instinctively know what's right for you. And you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. Okay. Oh, you guys, I guess this has been y'all's reading. Oh, I just can't leave y'all off like that. I just really can't, bro. Give me one more spread in regards to love, please. Give me one more spread. No, hold on. Give me one more card for my Capricorns and love. Give me one more Capricorn card and love for future love for my singles. What can my singles expect in love? Again, self-reflection. It is. It's, it's still saying the same thing. It's like you need to look at your self-reflection. Okay, and make sure that you're putting on the correct face. Don't put on a mask when you go out there and you put yourself out in the scene because you're a beautiful person, and the reflection that you see in that mirror in that mirror is beautiful. 
Don't hide who you are. Don't play peekaboo where you want to show people who you really are. You know, it's sensitive time. You know, you know, like how sometimes people put a mask on. People put a mask on the whole time and then you don't see who they really are until the going gets tough and shit like that. Then it's like, oh, okay, you do have feelings. Oh, okay, you do feel this way. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? So just make sure that you're always wearing your face. Don't go out there and be fake. Don't put on no show. Don't front for nobody. All right? It says identity, self-analysis, knowing thyself. This card represents an image of self examination the answer to who we are can have multiple answers and the answers may change with time and circumstances we wear a very of masks to falsely reflect the truth and to portray a myriad of visions of where we are and what we think we should be so like i said do not be fake if you act fake you're gonna get fake do you understand what I'm saying? Do not wear no mask. Why well, I feel like they don't want me to. I feel like they don't want me to get on them. <laughs> like that's it. Give me guidance. Give me guidance for my copies and love. Like they just like this card is just staring at me like bitch. Like that's the message. Alright. This is it. I swear. Last message for my Capricorns. The four swords. Okay. Spirit wants you to, like they said, self-examination. That's it. Because I felt like, listen, I felt this mask, the eyes on this mask staring down on me like, bitch. Stop pulling cards. That's the message. That's it. Self-reflection. I don't think that you guys need to be dating right now. You guys need to be honest with yourself about... The decisions that y'all are making, the type of people that y'all are dating right now. I feel like y'all need to be by yourself and find the joy in your life by yourself. It's time for you to go. It's time for everyone to go. I feel like you need to not focus on love right now and focus on yourself. Because I feel like some of y'all are putting on a fucking mask. And you need to listen. You don't need to date nobody. You need to be by yourself so you can figure out who the fuck you are. Because... All of these people that you have been with tells a story. And right now, only thing I'm seeing is I have someone cheating and fucking up a good home because they can't control their desires to fuck with hot boys. Okay? Hot boys. If it's not that, I'm seeing someone who is not trusting their intuition when they're telling them that they're dealing with risky and dangerous individuals and they keep dating these volatile, obsessive, crazy idiots. And y'all like to date people that do drugs. Y'all like to date people that just got out of jail. Y'all like to date people that's in the street life. Y'all like, like to play with danger. Okay? Look at your story. I'm out.